is not any form of equalization. I just needed to read this so that we know that as Ghanaians, we need to understand that there are people within the NDC and the MPP who have been fingered to be no, engaged in no, no, Galamsey. No, clearly, no, I'm sorry. Clearly, no, 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 no. Clearly, the no, context is no, that. No, no, clearly, no. The context. I am there are clearly, more the, names in I am in saying here. that the context is that uh -huh. they don't have a credibility. He has no moral right to speak the way he's speaking. Why? Clear. But what you have read to him. Do you have the moral right to MPP to be is very... Look, from Paul Boatin, you, you started by telling him that. <laughs> eh? You told Before him. Before you go on, let me just I'm remind coming, you. I'm I'm hold on, hold on. I'll let you. put it in context. I didn't want to... I just want to remind you. I understand. I just want to remind you that this from Paul Boatin report yes. this same report yes. that you are going to speak to yes. was rubbished by the office of the attorney general and said that it did not have enough evidence for them to even go after the people who were named yes. i'm just stating and that first of all so I make agree. your point I agree. now i agree so make so your point since now is the reference point of the ndc we have to expose them and he's been exposed can't you see he's embarrassed who? you said names were not mentioned they've read to you how your party people have acquired more money acquired more concession even sponsored independent candidates against the mpp and we shamefully sit here to so tell you, us so that you believe merely voting out NPP and bringing NDC will solve Ghana's So do you issue. believe this report from Pom Boateng report? No, no, I'm saying that if you are going by the references they are making... Do you, you as understand? a party, you personally, I, look, do you look, believe this look, report? No, no, I'm saying that, believing in the in the report or not, the context is very clear. The from Pom Boateng was very... Look, he read, if you read the report, it mm. tells you since the beginning, the successes of the Ghana fight. It's in the report, the report mm -hmm. that you are, you are reading. Mm -hmm. Go and read it. It will tell the successes chop when we started the fight. So we'll, we'll accept the part of I'm the coming. report. But I, when it comes to no, the mentioning no, 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 no. of names, if the NDC, we say... The reference point of the NDC is the Frim Pong Brighton report. We have to expose them that they have no basis to continue to reference that because they are more indicted in the report than any other political party. That is a fact. So are we accepting this report? I am saying that... Is the that, MPP accepting this report? Are you not getting the content? I'm saying that if we are going by their reference and you sought to create an impression we shouldn't equalize. We would do so because we will expose the hypocrisy. We will allow them to get away with the hypocrisy. But if we you don't accept, allow that. if you say no, there's not enough I'm, evidence to go after the people who were mentioned yes. as part of the presidency who are involved in Galamse, per this yes. report, the Attorney General says there was not enough evidence to go after them, then why should we even take this one, this aspect with the NDC, as sacrosanct? That is why because we shouldn't swallow, swallow, party that's why we shouldn't swallow the report hook, line, and sinker. We should analyze it. You understand whether we accept it or not mm. it should be analytical you understand and be reasonable solomon Ousu, you don't be reckless like this you can't tell me that akufado is is, is, is sanctions that can say menace in this country you can't do that mm. and you proceed to incompetent or corrupt god that your boss was part of this government for seven good years is it today that you realize that this is a corrupt government is it today when I talk about the good works of Dr. Baumia, your boss came to, I took him to Savulugu to commission $7 million rice factory. It's in the market. Is that a lot of good work? Rice factory, is it still functioning? I'm saying that, look, there are challenges. But it so was the commission rice factory and it started pro production. It's about the feed to the factory. Just like the so Bimbila, shut down. just like the Bimbila has been working on and off. I will be honest with you. Just like the Bimbila, Yam, and Cassava flour factory. It's about the feed to the factory. The factory is there. Currently. When there is, yes. The, currently. Is the currently. Factory, is the factory working? Currently. I, I am saying that it's about the feed. I have to check and tell you. I can't say that. But okay. there are challenges. Carry on. I'm being honest with you. Look, on the guys' labor, we respect them. Eh? We accept whatever they are putting across for the betterment of this country. But they shouldn't be dictatorial. They shouldn't. Why do you say you that? You understand? Yeah. Why? Government said, let's engage. We started the fight. Akufado put his presidency on the line, and we saw the results. People are now disputing that the MPP have suffered in the 2020 election as a result of the fight against Galamsi. That is a fact. We lost several constituencies as a result of this fight. But we are not successful. Here we are, it's still lingering. Look, I drove from all the way from Tamale through Ashanti region to Western region for a while. A manifesto launch. Mm. Terrible. Every young man you see is holding a pickaxe. Every young lady you see is holding a, 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 a is wearing a Wellington boot. Where is he going to? He's going to the Galamse site. Everywhere you go, thousands of Ghanaians who can't identify whether this person is MPP or NDC. We are saying that a blanket ban would not be good for this country. Just blanketly saying that we are banning uh, uh, mining generally. It will affect legal companies. You understand? That are doing legitimate business. What about, declaring, the point that we are making. what about declaring a state of emergency on our river bodies and our forest areas? Yes, That's I also agree. One That's the, the point that I, I, in providing solutions, I would have made that point. The water bodies, I saw the damage there. 
But when organized labor has asked for government or for the president to declare a state of emergency on our river bodies and, and in the forest areas. If you agree that that's something that should be done, why has the president not done it? You see, we have summed up everything. There's a difference between small scale and legal uh, companies than people who are illegally doing this and damaging the environment. You understand? So we should be able to differentiate that and go after those who are damaging our mm. environment illegally. How do you do you that? How do we started the fight? Through a, 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 a interministerial committee, a tax force was formed. People went there. Our own human factor. We are Ghanaians. Let's not pretend. Let's go there and see whether you were able to identify this M people. And mass, mass population of Ghanaians are in the pit. I went there personally and I saw them. Okay. You understand? So we should have an alternative source of livelihood. And government attempted that. You remember the hairdress People were trained into hairdressing. People were trained as seamstresses and so on. Okay. Government provided certain solutions. You understand? So why did it work? People were taken through certain trainings. But, but I'm saying that as a country, the attitude of us, you understand, mm. our quest to get money quick, that is what is driven by this uh, galaxy. So government, I will put the solution is that government has uh, formed a five-member committee and they engage with uh, the, uh, labor. Mm -hmm. Labor is saying that government has not uh, fulfilled their demand. So yet, uh, and we are asking, you understand, the consequences of the, this, this, this uh, strike action, has it been quantified? And somebody was telling this morning, if a pregnant woman eh, died mm -hmm. as a result of this strike, eh, who, who are we going to blame in this country? But they gave you about 30 days. They gave you about 30 days, even before coming back to say that they are going to go ahead and declare a strike on October 10. You had all those days to act, at least declare a state of emergency on the river bodies, so that anybody that is mining on the river bodies, will not have access to the river bodies, declare a state of emergency in the forest reserves, and take away that law that gives the president the sole right to open up mining in forest reserves. You didn't do any of that. Yes, and I'm saying that that is why government said that it should keep on uh, uh, engaging. Look, look For how listen, long to, listen, we to, listen to this. Have you seen the number of children charge. who are being born deformed? Yes, we uh, were told about the kidney issues, so cancer issues, So what kind of engagement again do you uh, need? I am saying that. Look, listen mm. to Frimpon Boatin. Okay. It was clear to us from the beginning that the fight was not going to be easy. It would take years of hard work, education, dedication, and attitudinal change to bring about the change we desire. This is not the first time Ghana is fighting the menace of illegal mining. <clears throat> she was talking about Aisha Wan. This woman was operating under your government. You come and shamefully hear reference her that this government let her out of. When she was operated, what did you people do to them? But you came, you arrested her. Yes. And you let her go. Yeah, I'm saying that that was, a, that was not proper. Okay. I'll be honest with you, that wasn't proper. That is why his boss is proposing a, a life a, a imprisonment or whatever death sentence for people who are engaging. Ghana, I'm saying, we can't go to that extreme. We must find ways and media citizens of Ghana to get them out of those dangerous work they are doing and provide meaningful source of livelihood for them. That should be the, 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 the benchmark. But if people seeking to take political advantage, try attempting to defend criminals who try to plunge this nation into chaos, you embark on a peaceful demonstration. You understand? Look at the chaos. And we are sitting here defending such characters. What, what chaos? You mean the people who embarked on the demonstration were in jail Removing now? a police vehicle, key from the police vehicle, is, is, is not a crime. That we have to defend someone for it. Is, Are we not being reckless mining, and irresponsible? Is mining in a forest reserve without a license a crime? Yes. So, Akunta Mining, we've had the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources come out and say that they were mining in the Tanonimri Forest Reserve without a license. We've seen a report from the 4th Estate come out to say it. And yet, nothing has been done to this person. Who is the owner of this um, mining concession? There are names that have come up where people have been said to be engaged in illegal mining. We have not picked up any of those people. See, and yet, we think that, that, no, we are we are think that young people who are on the streets asking for clean water, they are more criminal than the ones who are in the forest destroying for please, the environment. Please, let's not even give them that mileage. It was a clear, political motivated agita street agitation. Clear. How? You understand? They were not doing this for the benefit of us as Ghanaians. Clear, motivated uh, political uh, uh, street agitation. Whether which should it not is, be counted as. Whether it is they, political or not, yes. the question is were they asking for something that is right for Ghanaians? Clean water. Ghanaians have been asking for it, not today. 
And and Dr. Jalab said, I am under the NDC government. John Mahama told us he has deported over 500 uh, Chinese but, people but in this country. But the river were not as my bad. Brother, my brother, he was referencing uh, the, our uh, running mate, Napo. Eh? Your uh, running mate for Jena, have you seen the videos? Even John Muhammad, his video is here. He said that it will be difficult to, to fight Galamse. John Muhammad, the video is here. When did he the say The NDC running mate went inside people. They are former national executive. You saw them at the river okay. bodies. Koku Boy and Co. Telling people to, to do Galamse. Okay. That is why we said that a pact should be signed by both flag. But we are ready to do it. Dr. Babe is ready to sign it. You understand? Okay. But we will not en en entertain any propaganda for that. You merely voting for a defeated president, bringing her back, will merely solve the issue of Galapagos. Right. That is not the solution. Thank the you. solution is that we need technological and practical measures. That is promised by Dr. Baumia right. in the MPP manifesto to solve the Galapagos issue. Please hold on for me.